Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your USB device is not recognized on your Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Search for device manager. Best results should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section to so double click on it and then right click on your generic USB hub and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, so the second option. And then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the generic USB hub from the list and then select Next. And once that's done, close out of here. Now we're going to get a little more involved here. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu or the search menu, doesn't really matter. And you want to type in control panel. Best result should go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select the power options button. Select where it says change when the computer sleeps. And then select change advanced power settings. You want to scroll down and select USB settings and expand that. Expand the suspended setting button, and then you want to set this to disabled. So if it says enabled, click inside of it and set it to disabled. Then select apply and OK. Once it's done, close out of here. By opening up the search, type in CMD. Best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I'm going to have a few commands in the description of the video. Just copy each one one at a time, and then we're going to paste them in one at a time. So once you have it copied to your clipboard, go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste. And then you're going to go run the second command. And now you're going to run the SFC command. So copy that and then paste it in here as well.
So once that's done, we're going to type in or paste the last command I'm going to have in the description of the video, and then paste it into the top bar, again, the same way we did the other ones, and then hit Enter. Okay, so once that's done, you have a blinking cursor, close out of here, and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.